It's all about money. They do what they're told. If Tom has his wicked way with them, they'll soon be heading for fame, though not necessarily fortune. Can't wait. <laughs> Tom's forte, I think, is is men. Always remember Tom always turning around saying, I'll make sure you never work again. <laughs> Your book is, is based on untruths. Cry after the event. <laughs> Tom used to drive up the drinks, yeah? Tom used to drive up the drinks. Big hit people there with a new band, but he's really young band, because of, they've had a few drinks and the big spike, and they've fallen out of sleep. And they just thought they were pissed out of the head. Listen, they fucked with the wrong person, mate. They pushed me to the edge. They had me suicidal once. They know what they've done to me. This has been a plan from day one, back with Tom Hopkins. And the ironic thing out of all of this, right, was all I wanted to do was sing a bit of r &B. And And this is where I'm at today. I'm phoning you, because I'm telling you my life's in danger. They want to come for me, let them come. r &B, his style of singing. And I think because he started doing that. Tom didn't really like that, do you know what I mean? And I think Tom and Brian's always had this thing, and I always remember Tom always turning around saying, I'll make sure you never work again. He's got the brain in one hand to go with it. I mean, he basically said from the day he met Tom Watkins, yeah? yeah. That was the deal on offer, yeah? He had to do things to Tom Watkins and let things be done to him. Right, that's from day one, yeah? It's all about money. And sex. They were fucking him, yeah. Who was? Jennifer King's fucked him. Has he? And I believe that she had in the bed with... I've been in the bed with him. I'm Jonathan King. It's all about money. And sex. And music. Sometimes. He didn't, he didn't want that. Because he was... If paid, when he woke up in the bed with us all the day, thing. He didn't blame me, but he was playing out. He was, he was absolutely furious. Then uh, you're going to make it no matter what. And executives know this. And I've had it said to me, you know, uh, say, you know, so Ben, uh, what will you do to become famous? Yeah. Because he was bollock naked and everything, the clothes were down there. And he didn't know there was the used condoms about and stuff. And he'd say, no, it'd be you. He's been, been, been raped basically, he'd been drugged and raped. I can spot a good looking guy. I had a meeting with Tom Watkins, told him exactly what I think of him. Fuck you, I ain't signing with you again. Once he knew that, he was on the hunt to put a new singer in the band. I know because a month before I was sacked, he was asking certain agents, have you got any singers? Because I don't know if Brian's going to be about much longer. They set me up. And, I've, and I'm wondering if you've seen Tom Watkins at the same party as John Major. Yeah. The amount of pressure that them press can put on a person, I can't even begin to tell you what that done to me. From, from then, that is when my life started going wonky in 97, after that ecstasy coming. That is the thing that is responsible for putting me in the nut ass twice. Um, it was the added pressure that I didn't need that nearly made me commit suicide. Well, tried to commit suicide twice then. What would go down and, and what other people would be about? This is it. This, to me, Andy, this is important to me. Do you want me to, that particular party, if it's like the, the thing you were saying, you know, with the symptom, that part, when I've been to about three parties there, and each time I've been to those parties there and everything, I was just bought as a guest. Hey, what's up? How you going, Bill? Yeah, good, mate. What's up? Good. No, man, just like that guy last night. Is he alright, is he, yeah? Hey? Yeah, yeah, that Tony last night, he's alright, isn't he? Yeah, that thing he's got around his neck, Bill, me and Brian's just talking there. That yeah, thing's a freak. Yeah.
Yeah, it don't make sense though, Bill. Right, there. Cut him off, man. Don't talk to him. Don't mean, you know what I mean? Right, it's beginning to make sense now. Right? Yeah, can you hear me? Did you hear Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, did you hear him? Yeah. Always remember Tom always turned around saying, I'll make sure you never work again. Do you know what I mean? So, I'll make sure you never work again. Always remember Tom always turned around saying, I'll make sure you never work again. You never work again. Brilliant singer. You always remember Tom always telling us, and I'll make sure you never work again. You had misunderstood because you didn't know. Yeah. The person you've just said is, is good, the good friends with several as well. Tom Hawkins? Yeah. What, really? They were probably living out the fantasies of their, of their manager at the time, I, who I understand as. A homosexual and um, perhaps he recruited them for that very reason. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>